Hi, Peter Jones, Chartered Surveyor, Author and Property Investor, and in this short series of videos I'm looking at 10 things that I've learned over the last 20 years of investing for myself, investing in my own right. And number three on the list is one which I'm sure we all know, but I think it's well worth exploring, and that is that in order to get started in property, you don't need to have your own money. Now, if you don't know anything about property investing, you might assume that in order to be a property investor, you need to have loads and loads of money. After all, even a relatively cheap property is quite expensive in absolute terms. At the moment, probably one of the cheapest properties you're going to find, which might be a property up in the north of England, is probably going to set you back forty, fifty thousand pounds Relatively cheap compared to prices, say, in central London, but still, in absolute terms, quite a lot of money. So it's not unsurprising that those who don't know would think that you do need to have a lot of money to get you started. But one of the things which I've learned over the years is that's not actually the case. Now, there's an argument that you do need some money, and I fully accept that. It's very difficult to do property deals without any money. But the key thing is, it doesn't have to be your money. And when I first started in property, the first thing that I did because I had no money of my own. Sometimes, by the way, people look at me when I say that and think, oh, that's just hype. But no, it's absolutely true. I had no money of my own. And I started by remortgaging my home and taking equity out of my home, which I was able to use as the seed capital for my business. Now, it may be if you're just starting out in property, you might be thinking that you've got to spend years and years and years saving up your first deposit. Well, by using the equity out of my own home, I managed to get around. I didn't have to save up for years and years and years to save up the deposit for my first property. And by using equity from my home, I was able to buy eight properties in the first year of being an investor. So all of these slow ways actually are not the right way to do property investing. And even since I've been investing in property, things have changed so much. The concept of using JV partnership funds, where you'll find a business partner who will either come in and do a deal with you, perhaps on a 50-50 basis, or somebody just to lend you the cash so that you can give them a decent return. And they will finance your, your deal in return for getting their return. It's become far more mainstream. Also, using techniques such as no money down. Now, sometimes you go onto the forums and you'll see people say things like, well, no money down is illegal. I'm sure there are forms of no money down deals which are illegal, but there's plenty which are above board and are perfectly legal. So the use of options, the use of instalment contracts, delay completion, rent to rents, all that kind of thing, perfectly good. Things which probably when I first started 20 years ago, people weren't using and people weren't really talking about. But I've secured properties using options, nothing wrong with that at all, all done through solicitors, all perfectly above board, perfectly legal. So there are so many different ways that we can do property nowadays with no money or with very little of our own money that really, if you really want to get into property, I'm sure that there's a way, no matter what your financial situation at the moment, even if it's initially just starting by sourcing deals for other people. Having said that, though, if you can source deals, you can probably source JV partners who would finance deals for you, which means you can probably even keep a stake with, of the property. So there we are. Things have changed an awful lot. So until next time, here's to successful property investing.